Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to stream number nine of my Kingdom Hearts 1 Let's Play. Hope everybody is well. In the previous uh, stream, we were in Hollow Bastion and we defeated Maleficent, which I can only assume is for the first time. I'm sure we will be um, coming up against her again in the very near future. But I believe we're on like the final kind of push here towards the end of the game. So um, yeah, let's jump back in and see what tonight has in store. Hopefully my capture card is okay. Appears like it's okay anyway. Okay, so let's check what we have got equipped. Our items. Donald and Goofy have pretty much nothing. So let's get these guys stocked up with Bruh, we're really short on ethers, unfortunately. We'll have to use some of these mega ethers. Should maybe give Donald some ethers as well, to be fair. get to the gummy ship from this save point so I think I just want to check this if we need to I think we'll be able to actually get out of here and come back let's just check before we commit I guess we're in the chapel right excellent okay so we can go elsewhere if need be at this stage um but yeah let's um go through the portal and see what we've got next do you need some help riku a rock yes a keyblade but unlike yours this Keyblade holds the power to unlock people's hearts. Allow me to demonstrate. Behold! Now, open your heart. Surrender it to the darkness. Become darkness itself! Oh, this is it! This power! <laughs> darkness! The true darkness! Uh-oh. Yeah, dragon. Oh my goodness, she has got a lot of health bars here as well. One health gate. Man, that's uh... now, one thing I've not really utilized, and I should probably try and do it in this fight. I've not utilized any of my summons really too much, so something we should probably um, try and make better use of. Fight is going to be tricky, I think. Oh, 
Yo, Death Wish. It's the 35 month. 35 months? Wait a second. Wait a second. 35 months. Okay. Maybe it is 35 months. Thank you very much, Death Wish, for the 35 months. Couldn't do it without you. But I couldn't do this fight without you. Um, Evan, what's going on? Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. This fight's gonna be tough. I was already seeing it. All good over here, DW. How are you, buddy? See what Tinkerbell can do for us. Wow. I don't know what Tinkerbell's doing here. Get close to freaking Maleficent. It's like ridiculous. That's health bar. Can we hold it together? So I get out of there. Donald. 
Oh, that was close. Man, I can't see anything. Yes! There we go. Um, we're, we're on like the final stretch, I believe, Deathwish. I believe we're on the final stretch. She was just another puppet after all. What? The Heartless were using Maleficent from the beginning. She failed to notice the darkness in her heart eating away at her. A fitting end for such a fool. Faint fire glow. Alrighty. Um, well, it doesn't look like there's much more to do here. Yeah, I think somebody said to me like, before I started playing, uh, like a casual playthrough is about 25 hours, and I'm pretty confident like we're getting, considering like we just took on Maleficent as well. Um, who was like, who we believed or thought was like the, the big boss behind everything. Um, trying to think, um, we're, uh, yeah, not too far off the end. The game does seem to be kind of like wrapping up a little bit. All right. Onwards we go. Stop is like really quite annoying. Give a Donald or Goofy seem to like use stop quite a lot. You did it in about 25 minutes. Yeah, sounds right. That sounds about right. Death Wish OP. It's all the princesses. So let, let's just like take stock here of like what this game considers a Disney princess. You've got Jasmine. Okay. Cinderella. Okay. Snow White. Okay. Uh, Belle. Yeah. Alice from Alice in Wonderland. And that's Snow White. I was Sleeping Beauty over in that corner. But yeah, seriously. Like, Alice from Alice in Wonderland, one of the Disney princesses, I think not. It's no use. 
That girl has lost her heart. She cannot wake up. What? You... you're not Riku? The keyhole cannot be completed, so long as the last princess of heart still sleeps. A princess? Kairi's a princess? Hold it. Yes. And without her power, the keyhole will remain incomplete. It is time she awakened. Whoever you are, let Riku go. Give him back his heart. But first, you must give the princess back her heart. What's... Don't you see yet? The princess's heart is responding. It has been there all along. Kairi's heart rests within you. Kairi... Kairi's inside me? I know all that there is to know. Tell me, who are you? It is I, Ansem, the Seeker of Darkness. Wait a second. Now, wait just a minute. Wasn't Dr. Anson the guy who was like... I thought he was the guy who was like... He was doing all the research, right, into the Heartless. But we always assumed that he was a good guy. So all this time, Dr. Anson's been a bad guy? Wow, okay. I shall release you now, princess. Complete the keyhole with your power. Open the door. Lead me into everlasting darkness. So basically, he needs Kairi's heart to open up the the portal so that he can control the darkness and have uh, like have eternal darkness, basically. So um, yeah, all right. So this Riku fight, uh, we've got three health bars. Bad first attempt. I guess I've got to be more prepared, like with my own inventory this time around, because I haven't got any support characters, so... Just need to, um, yeah, be a bit more prepared for myself. Man, like, Donald and Goofy just rinsed through everything I gave him in that previous fight. It's redonkulous.
Or spell casting could be interesting. And we'll stick with what we got there, though. I'll stick with the fairy harp. Anything that will increase our strength. Doesn't look like it. Then we take off the ability stud. Guess we need to take off two abilities to do this. So We need to relieve one, though, don't we? Um... Take off the aerial combo thing. I want that, Donald. Strength defense, strength defense at max AP, and that. Uh, uh. And I can put it back on. It's weird. I had to take it off before I could change it, and then um, I can get to put it back on. All right, so I'm going to just go back quickly and save. Strength is definitely um, evident there. All right. Can't believe like the big evil overlord is Dr. Anson. Crazy. Also, where did uh, where did Fiery go? Yeah. 
in trouble. Yikes. Okay. Uh, I can't check all my stuff here. Oh, it's not saved any of my stuff, man. That blows. All right, what I'll do is... I want to reload my save because it's like this... It annoys me like that that's done that. Menu, nope, save menu. All right, let's back out, go back to the title screen and reload. So don't have to do that setup again. So it's a little bit annoying. Oh, and I didn't want it to be that. Great. Oh my goodness. Try not to fall off the platform this time. Okay. My abilities. We try stop here. All right, let's try not to um, try and take our time. He can't be stopped. All right, let's turn off heal there. Um,
Let's turn off. Um, let's try a gravity based spell this time. See if that um, does anything for us. It's going to be another one of those um, grindy fights that's going to take us a while. Wow. Talk about obliterated. Didn't even try the gravity spell there. I think one thing that probably like lets me down in like these sorts of fights is I've never really practiced parrying too much. Just now. Man, it's like. That like second kind of phase, he calls in oblivion and then he's just like ruthless, absolutely ruthless. Trying to be like as cautious as I can be here, but even still, it's um, not easy. All right, so gravity does nothing either. It's like I can hit him three times and then he kind of I keep going for that fourth, that's when I kind of seem to get Oh, 
I just can't see gravity on him. Chill, man. No chill. How are you supposed to heal, dude? Seriously. That's insane. Fire's like, well, there's there's no point trying to do anything there. Because the gravity magic and the stop magic does nothing against him. I don't know, is there some like different abilities maybe that um I think we're pretty good with what we've got for now. All right, Let's focus, focus, Daniel Sun. Like I say, I, I feel like I can hit him. Starts all right. Show me your power. Well, what now? Now it is true power. What is even happening? Alright, well we got... We got a little bit further there. We pretty much did his entire first um, health gate without taking any damage. Um, somehow got through the second one. Been on Badanka. Badanka? Um, yeah, I'm, I don't know. I've just sort of said a, a little while ago, I think it's probably something that's probably hindering me a little bit at the minute is the fact that I haven't really 
used parrying too much in this game, so I feel like I'm not... Um, feel like I'm not really... Um, good at parrying, so this fight might be a little bit more difficult. Although you can just block by holding square, I think. So maybe we'll try that this time. Try and hold square a little bit more when he's like dashing around. But um, welcome in. Thanks for uh, thanks for joining us tonight. I just waste that cranium. In. got that elixir off and that just yeah that helped me there let's go boys and girls Sora learned Ragnarok that unlocks people's hearts. I wonder. Sora? Uh-oh. Sora, hold on!
Oh no! at last princess the keyhole is now complete you have served your purpose but now it's over do you think we can stop him all by ourselves I don't know. Uh, impossible no you won't use me for this Riku! You've got to run! The Harless are coming! Is this Sora? Since Sora's like been now kind of like taken into darkness by using like the dark keyblade. I wonder if this is now Sora. Interesting. Yeah, that's the like place where the last princess was gonna be, I guess. save one man um Riku sacrificed himself to unlock Kyrie's heart interesting there as well that we saw um Riku trying to stop um stop them from being uh I guess, like, probably taken over by the uh, Heartless, right? Is that, um, I mean, I, I don't know for sure, but I can only assume that's um, Dr. Anson. Voice that um, Riku had before. We just, like, jump down, maybe? Wonder. We can. Oh, that's just a lift stop. I'm not supposed to um, be down there. All 
I can't use those portals either, so... Okay, this is interesting. Oh jeez, Deathwish. I've not been keeping tally. <laughs> um all right, I'm gonna go fifty-seven thousand four hundred and twenty-six. Diary, hurry! Can't leave them behind. We can't stay here. Heartless is after us. I'll take care of him. Sora, is that you? This time I'll protect you. We get to play as uh, Kyrie now. That'd be quite interesting. Getting ready for battle there. Go now. Come with us. I told you before, I'm not leaving without Bell. Now go. The Heartless are coming. All right. Let's get out of here. Tell me what. Oh, hold up though, quick quick moment, right? If if Sora completed the keyhole by releasing Kyrie's heart, why doesn't he go back and seal the keyhole now? Or am I not understanding something about how this is all meant to work? I thought the whole point of like was Sora was meant to um seal all the keyholes. So the darkness is flowing out of that keyhole. No wonder there are more and more heartless everywhere. The only way to stop them is seal the keyhole, right? Didn't I just say that? Maybe, but no one knows what will happen once it's sealed. Well, we can't just stay here. We have to do something. I've got a friend back there. That's right. You have one more friend to worry about. Riku's Keyblade must have been born of the captive princess's hearts. Just like that keyhole you saw. Of course, without Kairi's heart, it remained incomplete. Once that Keyblade was destroyed, the princess's hearts should have been freed. Don't worry, Sora. If anyone can save your friend, you can. Okay. Yeah, you heartless farmer knew it was you. Not sure why, but the heartless are getting stronger. New types of heartless are popping up all over the place. If anything happens to us, I'll let I'll know I know we can count on you, Sora. Um, okay, so... Of 
cool if you could, like, I know Kyrie is not really a fighting character, but it would be cool, like, now that we've... Wow. It'd be cool now that we've, like, we've um, freed Kyrie and saved Kyrie that we could have uh, maybe used her as, like, a playable character in our party. That'd have been pretty cool.